Why do we need to take position? Hallelujah. Amen. Why do we need to take position? Positioning is very key. Number one. <laughs> to catch vision. To pursue vision. And to be of best value. Let me break it down. Hallelujah. Yeah. Positioning must happen on two levels. In your life. If you want to make any impact. If you want to add value. If you want to reach your goal. Positioning must take must happen in your life on two levels. Number one, before vision is revelation. You can't have a vision without revelation. So you have to be rightly positioned to catch the revelation of God's vision for your life. Am I talking to somebody? That is why you need to be rightly positioned to catch the vision. Because positioning must happen before you can catch that vision. And vision comes through revelation. Let's look at Abaku chapter 2 from verse 1. He said, I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what I shall answer when I'm reproved. What does that tell us? He said, I will stand upon my watch. You don't position yourself anyhow. For instance, you are reading for an examination. You can't go and sit in the marketplace and say you are reading for an exam. You are not rightly positioned there. You can't be preparing for ICANN or preparing for a professional exam and you go and stand at the bus stop and say, you know what? This is the best place. Let me read here. That is tantamount to madness. To be rightly positioned, you need a quiet place, right? You need a conducive environment. You need to sit in a place with little or no distraction. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, sir. So, to cast God's vision for your life and for the season and for your progressive work with God, you need that revelation. You need, you need that positioning from time to time. You must take your time out, out your own personal retreat. And as an organization, we take time to have corporate retreats to position ourselves. That's why people hold live videos. That's why the whole session that on, on, on social media platforms like Zoom, like all this platform for training, to take their time out. That's why people go far away to lodge in hotels, to have conferences, to have a retreat, team meetings, team building meetings. They set themselves apart so they can what? Catch the vision. Let me tell you about catch the vision. Catch the vision. If you are rightly positioned, it won't take time for your visibility. The distraction in our world today is, is too much. The distraction is too much. The social media distraction. The business distractions. The family distraction. The family environment in this distraction. The, the hustle and bustle. And you know, want to make money, want to get something day to day for your life, for your, for your children, for yourself. The hustle and the bustle in the city. You need to be rightly positioned to catch the vision. Only those who see can possess. See, as far as your eyes can see, so shall you what? Possess. So the principle laid out in the word of God is... I will stand upon my watch. You don't slumber upon your watch. You stand. When people stand, now for instance, you go to offices, you see security men. They are usually on their feet. Am I talking to somebody? If you give them a seat, they will sleep off on that seat. In some organizations, the policy that they don't give them a seat. And so that they don't sleep off while standing, they rotate. So you do it for it in time, somebody else takes over. So that the eyes of security can be wide open to see any potential danger and stop it. Am I talking to somebody? So you must stand on your word. Your life is a serious business. Your destiny is a serious business. You can't afford to sleep all your way through life. You now need to open your eyes of understanding and be enlightened with the things that matter. Hallelujah. And the verse 2 says, And the Lord answered me and said, Rise the what? The vision. And make it plain upon tables that you may run and read at it. Hallelujah. Amen. So number two is the purpose of right positioning is to what? To pursue that vision. To pursue that vision. 
the essence of right positioning is to be able to effectively pursue that vision. When you have got the idea, you have gotten the idea, the direction to go, the next thing is to position yourself to run effectively. Look at that scripture. He said, and the Lord answered me and he said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that it may run and read that it. Why? Verse 3 says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Look at that position in here. It says, though it tarry, wait for it. That is positioning. Though it what seems to be delayed, don't leave your position of running after it. <laughs> and somebody get what I'm saying this morning. He said, though it seems to be delayed, don't leave that running. Don't leave the position of running after it. Don't be weary in well doing. For in due season, you shall reap the reward if you faint not. Last Sunday, something interesting happened. We are here, we are listening to the word, and throughout the time of rounding up, we are going to take the offering, and some gentleman sneak into the hall to just drop his offering and go. And I shared that testimony with Pastor Esther. I said, this is the same way somebody who is not even a church member will come in that day and just sit down and issue a check of 20 million. But you, that you are looking from a downside, you are thinking negative, you are getting weary, and now you feel like I'm dropping the towel. That is how people miss out. He says, though, he said, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, what do you do? Wait, stay in your position of readiness. Be getting ready. What does it mean to wait? The Bible says, they that wait upon the Lord. Now, when you go to restaurants, you see waiters. They are standing at attention. Waiting to take your orders. Waiting to take your instruction and carry them out. So that position is what the Bible is talking about. When it says, wait for him. That is, wait on the Lord. Active waiting. You are waiting actively. Yes, Lord, what's the next thing to do now? What are we supposed to be executing now? Which direction are we meant to be going now? And you dedicate yourself to pursue it. Am I talking to somebody? Yes, the essence of right position is to pursue the vision. And finally, to be of best value. Hallelujah. Amen. When you position yourself in your place of vision, what does the Bible say about you? The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 29, verse 18, For where there is no vision, the people perish. What does perish mean? To lose value. To decay. For instance, you buy tomatoes. You bring them home. You don't put them somewhere that they can be preserved. Or you just put them carelessly in a hot environment. And you just leave them. You don't preserve them. Or, you know, usually when women bring uh, tomatoes and pepper home, they process it almost immediately. They cut them, put onions, do everything, send it to the grinders, and then they package them, even boil them before packaging them. Some people put salt, ginger, and all sorts of things to what? Preserve the quality. So, where there is no vision, the Bible says there will what be perishing, that is, there will be decay. That means where there is no focusing on the vision, that's what the Bible says. When you are not putting your attention, you are not prioritizing your vision, your purpose, when you are not staying focused on it, what happens? The Bible says the people cast off restraint. Their discipline begins to drop. Their attention span begins to drop. They begin to wonder why they are where they are. Instead of doing what God commands them to do. Where there is no vision. For instance, people are working for you in the office. You must share the vision of your organization with them. Otherwise, if they don't know where you are going, they just be doing things anyhow. When a security thinks his job is to stand at the door and be begging people for money or extorting funds from people, he has lost the vision of that organization. Because even the billionaire.
next that wants to come in, they will start getting irritated. Because they see this as an embarrassment. You have not provided any service to me. You have not given me any benefit. And you already say, uh, happy weekend, sir. Okay, provide the service. All the other things will come naturally. Hallelujah. Amen. People beg, people should be begging you to collect gifts. Not the other way around. They should be begging to increase your value. To, I mean, to be increasing your salary. They should be begging, can, please don't go. Can we add more to what you are earning right now? No, don't, don't pull out of this project. We need you there because of the value that you carry. Where there is no vision, the people perish. That will not be our portion in Jesus' name. Amen. 